All right, we always have to start off with Paxson just because it's at the beginning of the mall, basically. So let's see what reprints we can find today. It's kind of crazy how they like literally everything is. How's it going? It's like everything is retro. White man can't jump. If you guys used to watch, I used to come to this outlet all the time and buy vans. And now like I kind of chilled out with the vans, but you guys can see they have some uh, new vans. Look at these crazy plaid flames. They got a bunch. But you guys know I'm on my sandal game now, so I am not uh, not worried about these. Well, it seems like we have some Burberry flannel at PacSun. A little button up. And then we have this Kappa hoodies. These are actually really nice. Kappa hoodies. It's on sale. Buy one, get one free. Colors are nice. What is the champion? A little embroidery. Pretty nice. Any nice bottoms? Are these just Paxson brand? Yeah. I showed you guys this a few months ago, how it's like fake Versace. So if you saw it, they have fake Versace, and then over there they have the Burberry. Literally, they just kind of rip off anything they can. It's almost like a Forever 21. All reprint, old school t-shirts. This is a sick one. I usually see this in blue, not green. New champion stuff. These are pretty sick. And then the Kappa shorts in the back, a little spell out. Guess, ooh, these are so nice. Old school Guess triangle, little bathing suits. Multicolors. Oh no, this is Playboy, this is a green one. Tons of Champion, which is kind of funny because if you guys know, Champion used to be sold at Walmart. Legit, not the same stuff, like obviously not embroidery and stuff like that, but Champion used to be sold at Walmart. All right, let's head to the next store. So I just came in this department store and they have Invictas, but these are older ones. They're a little bit thinner than the ones that they sell at TJ Maxx. Obviously the one on the right is my daily watch. But look at this blue one. The gold, only 80 bucks, it's not bad. Then they have the gold with the black. But this one looks like a smaller face than the one that's actually on my wrist. See this one's very similar to the one I'm wearing. It just has like that black with silver, black with silver. So there's no point of getting that. And then this one, silver with the blue, it's just again, no point. This black and gold one, I like it, it's just, it seems like the face is a lot smaller than the one with the blue. Maybe not, it might just be me, but it looks like it is smaller. This is a pretty unique uh, Versace collection shirt. We just saw one at TJ Maxx, uh, what was it, like 50 bucks? This is 150. It doesn't even say Versace collection on it at all. This was kind of cool too. All Versace collection, but it's kind of expensive. Maybe I should have got that Versace collection at TJ Maxx the other day because it was only 50 bucks. Typical tons of cap and just multiple, multiple colors of track pants. This is all of it actually really nice. A couple extra leftover jackets. Oh, there's some new ice cream, the all over print. That's super sick. How much is it? It's 25 bucks for the ice cream shirt. And they got another colorway. These are so sick. What's this? Another ice cream shirt. These I think I've showed before the embroidered ice cream ice cream just ice cream for days some more ice cream over here this is mixed with the BBC I believe or maybe this is just all ice cream because this is the BBC section right here the normal uh, windbreaker t-shirts just the basic stuff every time we come here I always show you guys the same stuff kind of billionaire boys club obviously it's just new season stuff so it seems like they're doing uh, up to 75% off sale. So they have a couple billionaire boys club like this shirt, $30. Uh, retail was 60, so basically half off of that. And then retail for billionaires boy clubs was 120, so it's really like a fourth of the price basically. I really love the distressing on this shirt, like multiple holes throughout the wash on it. If only it was a t-shirt, I'd probably think about coughing it. Just a tank top with that deep of a cut is just not me. All right, so I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but this material is like a tennis ball fuzz. It's like they sprayed fuzz on the bottom of this shoe. It's kind of really unique and kind of crazy. I'm curious if it's waterproof. It's literally like a fuzz though. 
Whoa, I've never even seen these Nikes before. Seventy dollars. It's like a collab with something. It has like Chinese symbols on it. These things are insane. I gotta look these up. Huge Nike swoosh. Fifty-three dollars on clearance though. Original price was eighty, and then original price from Nike was one forty. We legit never find anything here, but I'm just gonna do a quick run through, and I'm actually gonna look through the clothes. Cause I've seen people get like uh, Fear of God Nike track pants and I don't know why I'm blurry. That's why I keep looking at it. But they got like uh, track pants and Fear of God other stuff. I actually saw the Fear of God shoes here also. So let's see if uh, any of that's sitting. If not, we'll just head out because there's usually nothing good sitting on Nike anyways. I will say though, these little reprint uh, old school Nike windbreakers are super sick. They're $80. They come in like multiple colors. I got this yellow one over here. Um, no swoosh on the back. But just super sick. I mean, for 80 or for what are they? They're $70. I don't know. For $70, I don't think they're worth it because you can get vintage ones for cheaper. You know, vintage ones you can probably get for $40 to $80. So, I don't know. It really depends. Like, if you don't like wearing used clothes, obviously those will be for you. These are crazy. Air Max 270s, the Bofin. I just love the colors on these. But again, I'm just not a shoe guy, you know? It has a trail bottom too. Pretty sick. Jeez, I've never seen these before. It's like, I don't even know what material, like, I don't know, it's hard to, it's not a patent leather, it's similar though. It's called the Air Foam Posit Pro Cups. What are these, Nike Reacts? W-R-I-S-P-A? Is it like a collab with the Nike Reacts? These are actually pretty sick though. They have multiple colors too. Black colorway, this colorway. They got a bunch of Reacts here. I love real tree camo. You guys know I, I'm always a fan of camo. These are really sick, like half camo, half black. I and mean, only $55 is actually a really good deal too. These are kind of remind me of the Adidas, uh, the young ones, like similar silhouette with the nylon, the different materials. Like I said, I kind of got off the Vans hype, but let's just take a quick uh, ponder and see what's sitting. First find, I got the Vans uh, Bowie, the high top with the Bowie embroidered. Pretty nice. Look at these like multicolored skate high mountains, Scotch Guard. These things are crazy all throughout. What else we got? These are sick too. I love my vans. Little writing on the sidewall. Got like the dizzy effect. Let's see what else we can find. We have a there are a bunch of flames ones, half checkered. These are crazy. There's like nylon. It's like a windbreaker. Fuzzies. Bunch of flames, like I said. Oh, these are sick. These are like the skate shoe or dad shoe of the vans. Camo. Like tie-dye. These are sick too. Like the multicolored stripes gives like that old school feeling. Just got a bunch of sick ones today. But it's good that uh, my van type is over because I was spending way too much money. Yellow. All right, let's head out of Vans. So I just came into Journeys to see if they have the white pair um, on a 45, but look at these. Navy ones for $30, $10 off. It's not bad, actually. I don't really wear navy ones too often, but for $30, it's not bad. And look at this camo Birkenstock. This must be a new one, $115. The typical black ones, 45. Strange, these are 45 and then these are 40. Tons of crazy vans, like the multicolored ones. These things are sick. Another multicolored. The vans, old school. I remember the Yacht Club. These things were like reselling. It's crazy. Honestly, I don't really need the white ones at the moment, but I think I'm gonna pick them up, add them to the collection. This is one of the new colorways that Birkenstock came out with with the plastic ones. It's like a turquoise, I believe, is what they call it. And then the pink ones from Birkenstock, which is kind of funny because you guys saw I got the Payless ones. I decided to hold off on the white Birkenstocks just because I did pick up two pairs of Tevas the other day. And basically, two pairs of Tevas equals one pair of those Birkenstocks. So, I don't know. I don't need them at the moment. I'm trying to get a vehicle and I gotta remind myself that I need to save every single dollar that I get. Whenever I come to this outlet, I usually tend to get like the Asian food, like the uh, orange chicken with the lo mein or whatever. But I decided, you know, we'll just do a Burger Queen. You really can't go wrong. $5 lunch, 
and uh, quickly head out of here after. So it is actually Thursday, the day that you guys are going to be seeing this. Yesterday is when I went to the outlet, which you guys just saw in this video. Basically, I'm just wrapping up. I, I forgot to wrap it up yesterday, so I'm just wrapping up uh, the vlog. I didn't buy anything at the outlet. Now, obviously, yesterday's video, you guys saw me go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Now, TJ Maxx and Marshalls are in the outlet, so I basically did buy something. I just didn't actually buy something at the outlet and in this video. I'm actually already rocking the TiVos I got yesterday and honestly they're super comfortable way worth the 20 bucks I definitely recommend anyone uh, to purchase them for sure so I hope you guys enjoyed today's little outlet video if you did make sure you smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not subscribed make sure you check link down below emcvlogs.com I have a hundred listed items every purchase does help support these daily videos so I really appreciate take five minutes go down and scroll something my prices are really fair I can also do bundle deals and I also accept PayPal. A lot of people ask, yo, how come you don't accept PayPal on your website? I do accept PayPal. Just send me an Instagram DM or an email at ditr954 at gmail.com. Instagram ditr954 and basically I'll be able to hook it up so that way you can pay with PayPal. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.